Okay, so it is now May 2022, which means that we have a new Dragon of the Month to get breeding. The Hogwind Dragon is a legendary energy and light dragon, meaning that he's basically a legendary version of Zeus. But in order to breed the Hogwind Dragon, you'll need to breed together two dragons that have the fire, wind, earth, and plant elements. Of course, there are many different combinations that you could use, but today I've cut it down to the three best breeding combinations for any player. So the best combination you can use this month to breed the Hogwind Dragon is the Fire plus Academic Dragons. Of course, you can use any dragon with the same elements as Academic and this combination will still work. So this combination gives about a 3.5% chance to breed the Hogwind Dragon with up to 10 other possible outcomes. However, some of these are VIP dragons and so they aren't part of the breeding pool. The main benefit to using this combination is that it has a really low average misbreed time of 2 hours and 23 minutes. This means that on average you'll be able to rebreed very often. The only long breeding time is for orange at 12 hours, so if you're using a double egg relic, you can avoid that long timer completely. The second best combination you can use this month is the plant plus prairie dragons, or any dragons with the same elements as prairie such as the tribal, harpy, elephant, owl, orc or mystic dragons. So this combination has a very high, almost 6% chance to breed the Hogwind Dragon with just 5 other possible outcomes. The only downside to this combination, however, is that it has an average misbreed time of 7 hours and 12 minutes, meaning that you'll have to wait quite a long time between breeds if you don't get Hogwind. It might be a good idea to use this combination before you go to sleep or if you're going to go out for a long time. But if you don't have any epics or three element dragons to use, then fear not, for there is a combination for you. The lava plus leaf dragons, which is the same as using the salamander plus seed dragons and so on. So this combination gives a 2.78% chance to breed the hogwind dragon with an average misbreed time of 3 hours and 39 minutes. It's not as good as the first two combinations that I listed, but it's definitely an option for any newer players. You're of course looking for a 2 day breeding time, reduced to 1 day and 14 hours with a VIP level 2 plus active, to know that you have bred the Hogwind Dragon since he is a legendary. So if you see that 2 day timer then congrats, your breeding has been a success. Leveling up your breeding dragons will increase your chances of breeding Hogwind slightly, so I normally level up my breeding dragons to about level 15 plus, but if you're a brand new player, then don't worry about leveling them up too much since you just don't want to waste a lot of food. But as there is only a low chance of breeding the Hogwind Dragon regardless of which combination you use, you may need to try many times to breed this dragon. You could breed it on your first attempt, your second attempt, or your 40th attempt. The key is to keep rebreeding until you are successful. But anyway, that's how you can breed this wonderful dragon. If you want to share your breeding success or chat DML or any other video games, then feel free to join my Discord server. The link to that is in the description. I wish you the best of luck breeding this dragon, and I hope to see you back again next time.